Turn them back, guys. Um, as I was saying, now ah, there's an Amish. Actually, there's two Amish. Boo! Did you see that? The uh, cart there, there's three of them. Must be a community around here. That horse kind of dove to the left, suddenly. He doesn't look Amish. He had on a, uh... <laughs> he had on, like, sunglasses and a leather jacket or something and, uh, some kind of a knit cap. He certainly did not look Amish. Junction 20, that's what I was looking for. Now, see, the reason this GPS wanted me to dive right, go right there before, is because I'm headed south and now I'm going to head northeast. And I'm sorry, northwest. 20 goes diagonally back northwest a little bit. So this GPS was trying to do me a favor and have me cut across the triangle there. But, you know, again, you can't do that in the tractor trailer. You really got to pay attention. You can't just look at your GPS. You got to you got to be able to look at the GPS and then also look at the road signs and you're and you're better off to follow the road signs. There's a nice looking uh red Chevy across the intersection there. Can't tell it's 55 or 57 or what it is, but it's 55 or 56. Oh man! Tell you what, there are days where I, uh, oh, there's a Amish lady riding a bicycle. You think the guy in the carriage might stop and give her a lift? There are days where I, uh, would not mind living their lifestyle. Although I'm not very religious myself, so I would probably have trouble with the, uh, the strictness of their religious beliefs, but, uh, there are days where living off the land, you know, have a little farm or a cottage or something, living off the land all by yourself or with your family would be, uh, seemingly better than this, uh, constantly rushing around life that we've made for ourselves. But, then again, uh, I like the internet and YouTube and TV and I like all that stuff too, so. Some kind of a car show going on there. That's probably where that 55 Chevy was headed. 
few of them out there. Nice. There's one. Look at that. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I was going to have an older car. I think I'd take a Model A Ford. The hot rods of the 60s and 70s, I really like those too, but I've driven stuff that's faster and handles better. I've owned stuff that's faster and handles better. So, if I wanted something older and unique, I think I'd go with a Model A Ford. Something new enough that you could take it on the high, maybe not the interstate, but I think with some modification, a Model A can go on the interstate. I've certainly seen them on the interstate occasionally, um, but you know, an enclosed cabin, something you could really actually use. Uh, it would certainly not be a garage queen for me. Uh, I drive the damn thing, and I wouldn't want one in mint condition. You know, a few dents, a few things, a little faded paint would be just perfect. Otherwise, you're afraid to drive the damn thing. But Model A Ford would be pretty cool. Another old car. Nice. I think that was, uh... Oh, the, uh, the sheriff in, uh, the movie Cars. I can't remember the name of the car he was, but I think it was one of those. You know, if you lived in this area and you had a little farm and you could raise a horse, it'd probably be cheaper using the uh, the carriage routes here on the side than uh, owning a car. But if you didn't have a farm, feeding a horse is expensive, taking care of it. I'll tell you what, in a lot of these small towns, I see people running around on little scooters. You know, just running little errands to and from the store or um, even to and from work. You see that even more in the south, though, where it's warmer more of the year. The vet. No, th uh, Thunderbird. Uh, thought that was a vet. <laughs> 